Hope you're doing great. Today's video, it's a sketchbook tour. Finally, after like almost one year, this is the trashiest, chunkiest, best sketchbook I've done so far. The trashiest cause the amount of stickers on the cover. I usually don't customize the cover cause I'm good with it, but my boyfriend kept giving me stickers he found on the streets like a damn raccoon. My favorite, of course, are the Pokemon related ones and those Daco stickers. This sketchbook is the Daily Roni Ebony Union Jack sketchbook in A5 size. At the very beginning of this sketchbook, I've sticked some business cards. I found so many that you can see them through the entire sketchbook. And here's the first page. I remember them liking the drawing and think that I doomed this sketchbook at its start. But thinking about the last page, it shows how much I've grown and the improvement I had. On the side I stick a note with a short list of things I wanted to focus on, washi tip samples and other junk. I started this page before I actually started the sketchbook. I wrote some notes about tarot card reading cause, yes, this girl wanted to learn all this stuff so I asked a friend to teach me. So yeah, this page became pretty much stars tarot themed with my OC Evelyn that turned out beautifully and some engravings I made years ago also tarot themed. This page spread is incomplete, but I decided to leave it like this. This page is the first of three pages where I sticked all of what I've collected during my trip to Verona. I went on October, so there are also October thumbnails in this page. I started watching more journals, scrapbook setups, junk journals, and you can clearly see how much I was influenced. It's an aesthetically way to put memories of an adventure and it changes your way of thinking. At least, it's what I feel. I always think twice before throwing away something. It might end up on my sketchbook as a decoration, or I can use it to fill a gap whenever I'm done with drawing. I did a selection of things I wanted to use and stick them, leaving some space where I decided to continue the 100 houses. I left the previous sketchbook with 13 drawings, so I just continued from there. I've done all of those houses after I put my memories. I don't know if it's just me or it's a common thing. The majority of the time I start a page but then I go to the next page just because I think that the drawing I have in mind wouldn't fit there. So I go back and forth through pages. Okay, this is the first week page. Just a bunch of figure drawings. Other houses and one of my newest OC, Michelle, surrounded by phones and phone calls. Oh yeah, this page, not so proud of this one either. That illustration of Dante Alighieri was on the map of Verona and it was too cool to throw it away. There was an exhibition of Jeff Koons artworks. Cool stuff. And I drew a bird. One of my favorite pages. I was very angry that day and drew my Yoshi Uriel screaming very bad, nasty words. He can lose his patience very quickly.
Here are some attempts to draw monsters in Claymore style. I love that manga and it's a huge inspiration for monster designs. This page was pretty much a witch character development, inspired from a song. I also drew my boyfriend's D&D character, Jordan, smiling. We make fun of it cause he's a pretty serious guy and him smiling is pretty much a cursed image. Here I finally decided to study more eye shapes, Asian eyes to be specific. I started from my Nimikomali Ninemikomali drawings. Sorry if I mispronounced the name. Then I decided to practice on Jordan and Elben since Jordan has Asian traits and Elben is like half Asian. There is no Asia in the world they belong. There are countries Asian inspired. Moving on this page, it's a bit of a mess. I drew some oil lanterns to cover those ugly drawing in ink. I decided to don't cover them up cause I wanted to see the difference between a bad art day and a good art day. I can't explain myself why some days are like this. A bunch of ink drawing. Here we have Alkion, Alcedo and Azo. I know it's Hazo, but in this case it's pronounced Azel. There's not much to say here, just a bunch of monsters and a drawing that it's not mine. I'm so proud of this one. I glued a tiny spoon that you'll see again further on. And next to it, there's chalere with food and drinks. I've done it with acrylics and I would have never expected it to turn out so well. So well that I wanted to do another one. There's a video of the making of this page. I leave the link somewhere if you want to check it out later. It's my first sketchbook session and pretty much when I decided to focus on sketchbook related content. More eye studies and my UC Kevin, Uriel and Vanessa. This time I try to understand the difference between eye shapes. I also kept a receipt from a Filipino market only for the salamat and mabuhay. Celeste and Miaru and Jordan's mom. I especially love this drawing, it has its aesthetic and mood. My goals for this year. I made the 2021 art recap and I wrote what I liked and what I would love to work on during this year. On the side there is a sticky note with a little recap. You can see the making of, of this page too. Some figure drawing. I felt like I didn't know how to draw the human body anymore, so I've done some figure drawing to refresh my mind. A not so happy Jordan with a shirt that says, I do not bite with this word, and Vanessa being motivational. I changed her hair color. They were red, but I always found it a little bit odd. So I've changed it this way. I think this was around Valentine's Day cause it's unintentionally pretty pink and love themed. Here we have Thomas, which is in a little bit of pain, and Lynn, which She's not in pain. 
the continuation of a hundred houses. I was struggling at this point cause it became even more difficult to find house references on Pinterest. Oh yeah, the orange page. Did you know that you can make pasta with orange sauce? I know that it sounds strange but I've tried it and it's so good. You have to try it as well. More houses and geese. Guess what? Houses! And some notes for a portfolio design. My babies! We have Royce, Thunder, Alcedo, Celere and Yona. And here we have Ace, Erika and Alia. I like this page, it turned out good! Jonathan and Aching playing, Fue Coco, Doodles and Houses I don't know what's going on on this page I think I glued a bunch of stuff and then I drew the houses to fill them up study. There is a video where I go more on depth about it. It was a quite fun study to do. Another page with random stuff and houses. Okay, this is the failed page where I tried to go with a magical fantasy theme. There's an attempt of drawing a horse from life and a clean friend attempt to draw in some mushrooms. Kevin, Lynn and Celeste as magical girls. Other houses and horses. See? I told you that the Chinese one would come back. It's a reminder of that other page but this time there is Alcedo and Chalery is seen from the back. It also fits in this page to give it like a tea theme. Houses again. I was almost done. Houses and other monster studies. I tried to draw monster form for Ace and Royce. Taking inspiration from animals and older creatures. If you saw the dreadlock study video, you'll probably remember that in this page I drew Friday and Elijah. Well, I decided to fill this page with houses and a little scene with Royce and Alia trying to see the future or something. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could show you this page. Apart from this adorable sticker, I printed some screenshots of famous artists Instagram page to analyze them cause I had a sort of art crisis. Their link of their pages are in the description. I drew Erika, Ace and Alia 
all super fancy, although I could have done Alia's dress a little more fancier and I messed up Erika's skin tone. This is pretty much like her old design and I tend to forget that I decided to base her on Lihiyori, but I don't draw her enough to remember these crucial details. Another messy page with the houses, Miaru in a sort of beast form and a design of a new character. I need to work more on her. Here I finally reached 100 houses. I was very down but I've done it. Below the houses I drew the ant from this illustration and a young Royce holding a capybara that he named Francisco. I went to an Indian restaurant for the first time for a birthday and it was surprisingly good. I'm not a huge fan of spicy food but everything I tried was delicious. I'm looking forward to go there again. Here I also decided to start to draw a hundred feet. And I drew Yuna eating. After drawing all those structures, I decided to go with something organic. So I decided to draw feet cause they're as difficult as hands and I wanted to be good at them. So, to practice I decided to draw little Jordan admiring a prey mantis. You know when you try to hide the hands on the back of the character, so you don't have to draw them. Well, I do this with feet, by not drawing full bodies. So after drawing little Jordan, I decided to dedicate this page to the party. So we have Elben, Alcedo as a kingfisher, and I and Thanatos, the goose, here in its baby form. I printed some photos of a nice meal with friends, then I drew a Sirpa from Golden Kamui and Meiosis, Miaru, Vanessa and Michelle. Since I started this page with some drawings of citrus fruits, I decided to draw Meiosi on garden attire. I was afraid of screwing up this page, but I think I saved it, kinda. I drew a very stressed Kevin and it turned out similar to Uriel's page. They're both screaming and swearing out of stress. I went in a very fancy place for breakfast and I drew where I was sitting. Then I drew Elben and Alcedo Baker's version. Okay, on this day I had the strangest of the encounters. I went to a park to draw some geese and when I was walking I saw a rooster. It was just there and it didn't go away, so I decided to draw it. I didn't know whose rooster it was, but I hope it's still doing fine. Some quality sushi time and Lynn and Thomas doodles. I have to admit, I thought that the sushi had a more fancier taste but it turned out normal. It was still good though. In that same day, before eating sushi, I saw Sonic 2. It was nice, a little bit too childish maybe, compared to the first one, but enjoyable. One of my favorite games for the Game Boy Advance was Sonic Adventure 3. 
and my favorite character to play with was Knuckles. I was so excited to see him in this movie, and I can't wait to see the others too. Another page full of feet. At this point I got pretty used to draw them. I'm not good at it yet, but they don't scare me anymore. I visited the Archaeological Museum of Florence for the first time and I drew a bunch of stuff, little things to make it easy and quick, since there was a lot of people and I was with friends. Drawing takes time and I didn't want to slow them down. I didn't know what to draw here so I went for some fruits and vegetables and Vanessa during her day job, all color red with a set of cheap watercolors. Another random page that Anna Slip Uriel took over. Another favorite page of mine. I started by drawing those two cats that I found on Pinterest. Then I did some other drawing in wash and of course I put other random stuff. The last difficult page. I kept working and working on this page cause nothing was good enough. So I drew out Sedo. That scene was inspired by the ending of part 2 of Attack on Titan season 4. I love that ending. This page became pretty much a motivational page. The second last page and the best page. Again, I didn't know how to start, so I went on one of my old sketchbook the first best sketchbook for me, and I decided to redraw its second last page. It was a great starting point. Then I drew a fried egg, I stick the thing like that close the bubble tea, which is from my favorite boba shop, and I kept the receipt. Lastly, I drew Lynn like the girl from The Girl Who Left Through Time. Last but not least, the last page. Like for the previous one, I redraw a page from the same old sketchbook with the same punchline. But instead of Miyaru, I drew myself like at the beginning page. And unluckily from that page, I really, really love how this drawing turned out. It makes me feel proud of how much I went far from the very start. And that's pretty much what I wrote. At last, the last Daco sticker and the last business card found their place. In the back, there are other business cards and a few other stuff. There used to be more, but I transferred them in the new sketchbook. And that's it. As I said before, I'm pretty proud of this sketchbook. The second best I've done. It's so full of memories and it went through a lot. Hey, if you made it this far, thank you so much. This was a very great journey and I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you liked it, subscribe for more and see you next time, bye bye!